So this is a narration from Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu where the Prophet peace be upon him is commenting on the du'as of other people. So this is a great lesson for us um, into the do's and don'ts of du'a. So he says that the Prophet sallallahu heard a man supplicating and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made in his um, in, in his supplication, um, Allahumma inni as'aluka tamam al uh, Oh Allah, I ask you for the completion um, of, uh, of, of a blessing uh, or the full uh, completion of, of the blessing, okay? An ni'mah is the blessing. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, well, what do you mean by that? And he said, it's a supplication that I make that I hope good for by it. So the Prophet Wasallam said to him that indeed from the completion of the ni'mah, the completion of the bounty is salvation, entering into paradise and protection from the fire. So the Prophet ﷺ was not negating his du'a, he was saying just make sure that you intend by that tamam and ni'mah, uh, that completion of the bounty, uh, the ultimate bounty which is salvation, entering into paradise and protection uh, from the fire. Then the Prophet ﷺ walked by another man and he heard this man calling out, Ya dhal jalali wal ikram, O possessor of majesty and honor. Uh, which is one of the ways that the Prophet peace be upon him used to call upon Allah, Ya dhal jalali. Wal ikram, O possessor of majesty and honor. So the Prophet ﷺ responded to him and said, You have been responded to, so ask. Then the Prophet ﷺ heard a man making a dua, Allahumma inni as'aluka sabr. O Allah, I ask you for patience. I've gotten asked this question many times. Can I ask Allah for patience? Is it a good thing to ask Allah for patience? So, O Allah, I ask you for patience. The Prophet ﷺ says, سَأَلْتَ اللَّهُ الْبَلَاءَ You have asked Allah for hardship فَسَلْهُ الْعَافِيَةَ Instead, ask Him for ease. There is a lot in this dua, a lot to unpack. You have asked Allah for test and trial. Instead, ask Him to be spared. How do we reconcile this? Don't we want to be from as -sabirin? Don't we want to be from those who are patient and attain the, the level of patience? Didn't the Prophet ﷺ say, that Allah has never given a, a servant of His a gift that is more expansive and more comprehensive than a sabr, than patience. So why would the Prophet ﷺ say to this man, don't ask Allah for patience, instead ask Allah for an afiyah. The Prophet ﷺ was referring to a specific context. It's not about asking Allah for the quality of patience, which is a great quality to have, or the, the station of the patient, which is uh, a great station to have. But in this situation, when you're going through a hardship, instead of asking Allah to uh, give you patience in the hardship, ask Allah to remove the trial and demonstrate patience in your very being. Instead of asking Allah in with, with, with a spirit of uncertainty and with a spirit of expectation of hardship and trial, ask Allah with an expectation of good and of ease. And then accept if trial comes to you that that trial is indeed good and is a form of ease in its in its full context. So the Prophet ﷺ did not uh, approve of this man making the dua, Allahumma ni as'aluka sabr. O Allah, I ask you for patience. Instead, the Prophet ﷺ taught us to ask Allah for afiyah, to ask Allah to be spared, and then to take with grace and patience whatever comes our way. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the quality of sabr and, and grant us the station of a sabirin, but may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us al afiyah, grant us uh, you know pardon and forgiveness and allow us to be spared in this life and grant us the best of this life and the next Allahumma ameen.